So, how do you make a Boolean expression? How do you make a what? A Boolean expression for a circuit when all you got is a truth table? How do you do that? <coughs> well, there's only one way to really find out. Let's make a truth table. Let's get this up here. There we go. Let's make ourselves a truth table. And here we go. So let's imagine that we've got, uh, let's say, three input, uh, a three input, uh, well, let's make, let's make it a two input, uh, three input device is good. Let's do that. So we'll call it, uh, what shall we got? X, Y, Z. That's good. X, Y. And Z, and uh, then we're going to have an output over here. Well, uh, let's make it look neat. Well, fairly neat. <laughs> we don't want to make it too neat. And down we go like this, and down we go like this, and like this, and like this. And let's close it off there. And let's say halfway through will be there. And there. And there. Oh, that's not good. And we'll see what happens. I'm not too good at drawing these lines today. There we go. So. Uh, what do I got so far? I got zero, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I don't have those. So let's go get another one. Now what do I have? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, one more, and that'll be right here. Ba boom. There we go. So I've got X, Y, Z, and I got an output over here. Hmm. All right. Let's uh, label these. <coughs> when the output over here, when the input is zero and a zero and a zero, um, I get something. Well, we'll make up something in a moment. And then what's the other outputs? Zero, zero, one, zero, one, zero, zero, one, one, <coughs> and that's three. Now I got four. Now I got five. Five, and I got six, and now I got seven. With the zero there, you have your eight inputs. Eight inputs. Okay. So let's say um, for my for this table, I get uh, I get a one when uh, it's uh, they're all zeros. X, Y, and Z are zeros. And, uh, well, let's not do that. Let's do the next one. I don't know why. That looks like fun. And we'll just do one more. How about uh, this one over here? One double O. I get a one only when my inputs are zero zero one or one zero zero. So how do I write this kind of a, uh, of a, uh, of a Boolean expression. Not, not, not hard at all, really. It's surprisingly not hard. First, let me move this over a little bit, get some fighting room. I screwed up my table a little bit. Oh, there we go. Not bad. All right, so how do I write this expression? First, let me move this up just a tad over to here. Okay, good. Yeah. You ask yourself a question. <laughs> Look at the ones. Wherever there's an output, where there's a one, I'm going to look at this guy carefully. The input is zero, zero, one. Zero, zero, one. And the output is a one. When can you multiply zero times zero times one and get a one? And the answer is, never. You have to do something to these guys. 
What do you have to do to this guy? And what do you have to do to this guy? Answer is very simple. You have to change this guy, this zero, to a one. And you have to change this zero to a one. Then one times one times one equals one. That's obvious. How do you do that? Well, what were those letters again? When x is zero, when y is zero, and when z is one, you're going to get a one. But these guys are zero and zero. Had, ah, I know. We could not x and not y. So that'll change zero to a one. When, it, when x is a zero, it's nodding will become a, make it a one. When y is a zero, when you invert it, not it, it will become a one. Ah, ha, 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 ha. So, how can I say that? I just did. All right. How can I write that down? I just did. Wow. So this becomes this. Wow. This guy right here is the Boolean expression for this line. So, this Boolean expression is saying when x is knotted and y is knotted and z, not knotted, normal, when they're anded together, you get a 1. Oh, there's one other occasion when you'll get a 1. So when this is true, or, and that's the symbol for or, or this guy is true, you'll get a 1. Well, how do I write the Boolean expression for this line, this line over here? How do I do that? Well, when they're saying x and y and z, it's going to produce a 1. Well, when does 1 times 0 times 0 ever equal a 1? The answer again is never. What do you, because 1 times 0 is 0, 0 times 0 is 0, that's it, end of story. So what do you have to do? You have to change the zeros to ones. How do you do that? Well, you don't change the zeros to ones, you change their representative letters to ones. Ah, how do you change y when it's a zero to a one? You knot it. How do you change z, which is a zero, to a one? You knot it. Ha 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 ha. So, when? This is true. Well, let me see if I can get rid of that. Okay, I did. You'll get a 1. Beautiful. All right. So, um, where are we now? We're saying, when this line... Let me erase these guys, too. When this line over here... When this line here is true, or... Or... When this line is true, you're going to get a 1. Huh. Oh my goodness, that's the Boolean expression right there. Not very neat, but there's the Boolean expression. Let's see if we can write it out so it is fairly neat. I'm going to need some fighting room. And let's see if I can do it. The Boolean expression then would be x not ended with y not. I'm on line one right now. I'm looking at this guy here. Ended with z. Or when that's true. Or when. How do I write or? Well, let me close this in parentheses like that. Or or with x y not z not there's my expression that's it no more so this is the boolean representation of this whole table what do you know what do you know? First, let's clean this up a little bit to make it easier for you to see.
Uh huh. Just like that. Yes. Now, let's clear this out. Clear out all of this stuff. And. Yes. And now. Can't move that up there. Not enough room. And this is what we've, we are left with. This is saying x naught, put this in red, x naught y naught z ORed with x y naught z naught is this table. And this is my Boolean expression. This is my Boolean expression for this table. And that is just amazing. So, that's it for now. So long from Gary D. 777, aka, aka, Hoboken Gare. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye. Have a nice day.